In the past year, the Me Too movement has exposed many powerful men who used their positions to get away with sexual assaults. But there is one person who has consistently avoided punishment even as he racked up tons of allegations, R. Kelly. But now, that may finally be changing. For decades, as his career soared, singer R. Kelly has denied repeated claims of sexual misconduct. But now, some of his alleged victims are speaking out in a powerful new docu-series about the sexual, mental, and physical abuse they claim they suffered at his hands. I believe I can fly. He's the singer known for hits like I Believe I Can Fly and Ignition. But these days, R. Kelly may be just as well known for the decades of allegations against him of domestic abuse and sex with minors. That's right. A documentary came out, and it's six parts long, which is a ton of accusations. Like, R. Kelly has more skeletons in his closet than a Saudi embassy. And this new documentary has been getting a lot of attention. But it's resulted in one really strange side effect. And while surviving R. Kelly was trending at number one on Twitter during its debut, his music was getting renewed interest as well. Now I'm not trying to be rude. With reports, his music on some platforms have actually seen a spike in streams. So, just so we're on the same page, America sees this documentary about R. Kelly and underage girls, and now they're consuming more of his music? These are the same people, probably, who ordered more salad when they learned romaine lettuce was killing people. That's probably the same group. <laughs> They're like, who died? Man, give me a side salad. I know lettuce wouldn't do that to nobody who didn't deserve it. Give me that side salad. <laughs> For more on these allegations against R. Kelly, we turn to our music expert, Roy Wood Jr., everybody. Yes. <laughs> Roy. I don't get it, man. This, this documentary comes out, mm -hmm. right? And somehow, his music is more popular. What on earth is going on? Well... First of all, R. Kelly. <laughs> like, let's just get that out the way. There's no way, there's no way to watch this documentary and still be a fan of this guy. And to be honest, I think the only reason he's been getting away with this as long as he has is because he was doing it to black girls. I mean, he married, I mean, he, he married Aaliyah when she was 15 and nothing happened. If he even thought about marrying that little bald-headed girl from Stranger Things, America would be like, I believe you can fly your ass to prison. The, the bald-headed girl, you mean Millie Bobby Brown? Oh, is that her name? I, I don't know. The, the, the black community only recognizes one Bobby Brown at a time. But, but, Roy, okay, what I don't get is, like, why are these allegations increasing his music's popularity? I don't know, but I'll tell you what isn't helping. The news. Every time they report on his crimes, they do it like this. Despite several previous allegations of abusive behavior, Robert Kelly, or as the world knows him, R. Kelly, has bounced back repeatedly. But one accuser tells us she now believes things this time may be different. Hey, pretty girl, I'm feeling you the way you do the things you do. <laughs> you, you can't talk about R. Kelly's supposed crimes, then play Ignition. That song is irresistible. You're sitting there watching the news all angry. How could this monster prey on these innocent... Oh, my God, that's my jam. <laughs> you can't do that. Stop playing his music and just tell us what he did. Just, just, say, just say what he did. Can you imagine how hard it would have been to stay mad at Bill Cosby if every time they reported on his crimes, they did stuff like this? Breaking tonight, TV icon Bill Cosby, now a convicted felon, found guilty of sexual assault. <laughs> <laughs> Trevor, what are you doing? Oh, I, I'm downloading old Cosby episodes. That was funny. No, uh, no, that's what I'm talking about. That's the shit I'm talking about, man. Oh, oh, sorry, Roy, but look, but R. Kelly has written and produced so many songs for himself, for other artists, it's almost impossible to completely avoid his music. Maybe for you. I can tell you what I'm gonna start doing. Have you seen Bird Box yet? <laughs> you ain't seen Bird Box? Bird, Bird Box is a movie about a white lady cussing at her kids in a rowboat. <laughs> and from, from what I learned in this movie is that if you don't want something to get to you, you gotta block it out, right? You just gotta, you gotta block it out. But instead of covering my eyes, I'm gonna start covering my ears. 
and I'm gonna call it the R. Kelly challenge. That way, people can focus on what he did and not get seduced by his music. That is See, genius. I Roy with Junior. That is like, genius. Wow. That's amazing. That's really amazing. Understand, Trevor, is that no, it's, the, the bird good. box we're teaches good. us that Roy. things that look good Roy. might not be good for you. Roy. It's an allegory for Roy. what's it's, really it's, going we're, on we're in good. the world. I can't you, you can no, take no, it no, off. No, 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 don't touch it, man. They might be playing R. No, Kelly. You need to take it off. They might be playing R. Kelly. I They're can't take play, this off.